Oh, oh, hey. hey. Carmine is requesting your assistance as a legal aid if you want to get him off I guess I'm on this side this time, boys. You what? <sighs> Feels like... Oh, Oh, oh what what the holy hell? I'm sitting. I was fast. I'm sitting. Using that was way, uh, she was saying you can't sit down because if you do, your ass is too fat and you can't see it. Yeah, Ooh, baby, baby. Thank you so much. Really I have been you. working on it. You like that one? You like that one? Uh, and Andy yeah. Jones. Yeah, maybe I can start sitting on your face climbs. again. Just how you like it. I don't want to get crushed. <laughs> she will never wishes to help you as long as she lives. God, I love Andy. All right, then who's the other one? I'll go. Jerry, home. Jerry Maine, and Caleb Rush, oh, and okay. William Stout. What, are you too dumb to represent yourself, Carmine? <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> uh, yep, down, down at the corner. Do you even know the charges you. I'm looking at because of your tomfoolery? Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, kidnapping, I mean, <sighs> contempt of court. Yeah, you're a criminal. That's what criminals get charged with. Hey, Your Honor, can I speak to the plaintiff? If the plaintiff's <sighs> okay with me speaking to the plaintiff? All right, you got a no. you got a lawyer and a legal aid on on their way, Carmine. All right. Looking good, uh, Your Honor, Miss Gatsby. Thank you, Mr. K. Of course, of course, you too, Judge. Looking great, sir. Yeah. Very Thank handsome. You. Very handsome. Thank you. I appreciate it. How about you stop glazing, okay? And let them oh, do it sorry, the facts. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, I'll be a negative person and I won't compliment people. Sorry, sorry. I will. Wow, looking like a fucking weasel, Carmine. Ugly as fuck. Is that better? It's more to your liking? I'm, I'm not the plaintiff here, okay? You're the plaintiff here. Weasel would imply that they, they like to snitch and shit. You're the plaintiff, I'm the defendant. So you're against people telling the truth? Okay, no, no, no. Carmine, are you... Only contesting the contempt. Uh, the contempt and the uh, what was it? Ain't they both like for the same Violating thing? Violating a court order. Mm. Yeah, they're both for the case, same thing. Your Honor, I will submit some evidence to you. Okay. Yeah. That will be very much pertinent <laughs> to the charges. <laughs> Oh, I have a couple of those. I like oh, what no, you no, I don't actually. Did, I, I like what you did with your, your hair, Gatsby. You look fab fabulous. <laughs> Thank you, Carmine. No, no problem. Oh, what a coincidence, Carmine. What? All right. This Your Honor, the defense well. still has not received any police report. It That's is, what Harvey's doing right now. I'll give you a copy of it. It is just genuinely, it is generally the contempt of court with the charges. I'll give it to you right now. Hold on. Mr. it's all yours. Mm -hmm. Ah, Bass, that's, that's you. It's Bass, that's, that's you. Well, uh, we'll start with the judge, Your Honor, first. All right. Hey, I'm gonna actually need your help right. to like ask questions. Your Honor, do you swear to tell the truth, case. the whole truth, and nothing gotcha. but the truth? So yeah, help you, unity. Oh, I definitely do. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. All right, Pass. you've been sworn in. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, how are we doing this? Is she giving a statement, or am I asking questions? However you want to do it, Commissioner. I would prefer statements and then ask questions afterwards. Sounds good to me. All right. So, two days ago, on June 25th, Carmine Costello was called into small claims by William Shepard. Costello called Mr. K as a witness and asked to countersue Mr. Shepard through the course of the court case. Costello also asked to sue Mr. K who in turn <laughs> wished to counter Sue Costello. In the findings of small claims, it was ruled that Carmine Costello owed Mr. K $69 to be paid within 45 minutes or else there would be zeros added to that sum. I was contacted the next day, which was the 26th of June, by Mr. K, who was distraught, telling me <laughs> that Carmine Costello had called him and told him that he refused to pay 
and that he would simply, quote, lie to the judge and tell me that he had paid without paying and inferring that it would be through cash. Once I heard the recording of this phone call, I contacted Mr. Costello through text to inform <laughs> him that he had Look a 48 hour, ass. or sorry, 24 hour deadline and that he would have to pay Mr. K a total of $6,900 by <laughs> 8 p.m. Eastern on June 27th tonight. I told him that should he fail to do so, he would be facing violating a court <laughs> order as well as contempt of court charges for his actions. And here we are at 8.38 p.m. Eastern, and Mr. K has still not been paid. So I called Harvey Holden and had a warrant put out for Carmine Castello for violating a court order and contempt of court. And now we are here. All right, thank you. All right, prosecution, questions? Is that us or them? Yeah, 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 we're prosecution. Yeah, I don't have any questions, would. Your Honor, but Harvey and Kay could go. All right, Kay, uh, Mr. K first. Okay, am I questioning Carmine? No, me, Mr. K. Oh, the judge. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> usually I'm on the other side. Jeez. Okay. Uh, questions, right? Questions, questions. Um, okay. In the court case, did Carmine state that he sold stocks? Yes, he did. Did he state that he had large amounts of money? Yes, he claimed that he had large amounts of money. So there would be no reason why he couldn't pay a measly $69. That is correct, yes. Objection! What's your objection? Uh, I can pay more than that. All right, well, okay, that's no, my car, I don't know if that helps him, but <laughs> okay, well, and right, Mr. Was, K, please continue. Was Carmine made aware that he needed to pay me these $69 in 45 minutes? Yes, he was. He even responded to me, affirming that he heard the ruling and said, I believe it was a measly $69. Yes, precisely. Now, in this recording you heard, did Carmine state that he would refuse to pay and would lie in court and say he did pay? That is correct. That's what I heard from the recording. And later in the recording, did he state how he beats the brakes off of prisoners because no one can hold him accountable? Objection, <laughs> Your Honor! <laughs> All right, what's your objection? Speculative! There's no proof I said I, I, that! I'm getting to a point here. It was entered into evidence, Carmine. But he said me specifically. The defense, Your Honor. All right, Carmine, do you know... What? <laughs> All right, Carmine, I'm going to overrule that on speculation. What is that objection, what facts, not an evidence that we're... Or, or Brady violation. This evidence was never presented to the uh, defense. That's my lawyer. That's my lawyer. I'll send you, I'm sending you everything that Dream we have. Thing, Your Honor, at this stuff. time, I'm going to have to make, I'm gonna make a motion to dismiss as this evidence was not provided to defense, giving us ample time to prepare for this case. Is this a this bench trial? This case was literally thrown together in the last 10 seconds. I will send it's it an, to you right now. It's an open court appeal um, with all the respect, and the judge did testify really to what happened. I'm trying to make the point of he doesn't give a fuck this about conversation was, consequences. I, I just, like, that piece of evidence stricken, Your Honor. I mean, I, I'm okay with that, Your stricken Honor. Stricken as... Okay yeah, it was a conversation between Mr. K and Carmine. Mr. K is called as a witness. Mr. Carmine K can, can testify about the contents of said conversation. That's what I'm but saying. But the recording oh, of Your such Honor, conversation should be stricken. Uh, Carmine is very aware of this recording. He actually listened to it, what did we say, Bass, about an hour ago? Uh -huh. That is correct. So they are very aware of this recording and aware of what's on it. Mr. Carmine, are you aware of this conversation that was recorded? 
of uh, a convo. Yeah, come mm. on. It, yes, yes, I recall listening into <laughs> a recording of someone that may have sounded like handsome man, like myself. I, I do recall. I, I do. <laughs> okay, so you are aware that it exists. I'm going to overrule your objection since Carmine is aware that it exists and did acknowledge that he listened to it. Perfect. Um, may I continue, Your Honor? Please do. Um, based on your position as a judge, Gatsby, um, do you have a lot of experience dealing with people that uh, have difficulty with authority? Between my experience as a judge and a lawyer, yes. Now, based off the statements Carmine has made time and time again about not being able to be held accountable, would you say he fits the picture of a person who has a problem with authority? And it's rich coming from him. <laughs> I would say yes. Yes. Okay. I believe that is all from me. Okay. So. All right, prosecution, any more questions? I don't believe so, Your Honor. <laughs> all right, Carmine. I mean, dude, there's really Cross. not much for me to say. I want the paralegals cross. We off. got a pretty fucking... I got the Walkman. It took me three hours, though. Damn it! Didn't ever call him. Okay, you're not. You're gonna have to get a give him to uh, Malton outside of the. Uh, okay. Metal detector. Uh, Lance. Lance's parents. Hand up for them. All right. Yeah. Walk you stated down. that zeros would be added. Correct. How many zeros? I said up to three, I believe. I, maybe I should have added, clarified how many Great. times he, she notified him to. Hey, but she said it in the opening, so. No, I got you. Or in her opening, whatever. Miss Gatsby. You got yes, Carmine. <laughs> Sad to him the ten gifted boss. Appreciate you, bro. Since uh, the plaintiff brought this up, people's character. Would you say, morally speaking? I am a better man in stature than Objection character um, than, him, than him. Uh, Mr. K, uh, it is cross. He is allowed. Oh, okay, to, okay, okay. Unfortunately. There you go. Thank you. Yep, there it is. Yeah. So, would you say I'm a better person than him, morally speaking? The fuck's better that? person than who, sorry? Than Mr. K. There you go. The only dealings I have had with Mr. K have been in the past 72 hours, so I could not speak to his character. Well, how, how fucking ironic then? Do you have do you do you know anything about an, an organization called the Chang Gang? Wait, I'm not on trial. Oh, I've boy. heard objection relevance, man. Come on. <laughs> what side are you on? on? I'm on your side. Uh, objection! I'm, I'm not on you. trial here. No, he brought up my objection. character. The relevance, the relevance of if he's in a gang or not. You're the one on trial here, at Carmine, right now. <laughs> Okay. Miss Gatch, you're not a cop anymore, Carmine. <laughs> Miss Gatch, yes, Mr. Costello. <laughs> when you gave me the court order to pay uh, $69, did I outright reject I to job. pay that sum? No, you did not. Well, do you recall what I said? You said you wouldn't. It was asked if you could. You said that you had more than enough money. And so that is when I gave you the deadline of pay the $69 within 45 minutes. Okay. And to your knowledge, did I pay it? No, you did not. What did you do after that fact, Miss Gatsby? I believe I called it a night and went to bed. Oh, well... What did, what did you do after that? After that, I probably woke up yesterday morning and came into the courthouse to hold open court for three hours. Relating to me and Mr. K. 
What did you do after that concerning the, the issue at hand, more specifically? When I was informed by Mr. K that you had not paid and had no intention of paying, I He's contacted doing the job. What did he sound you. like when he informed you? Did he... He was sounded he, was distraught. Was he weaselly? Like a little, little weasel man? Was he crying about it like a baby? What was, <laughs> his, what was his demeanor? How did he seem to you? Like a little bitch when he, when he called you about my <laughs> money? What the fuck is this, Your Honor? <laughs> It's, rele object it's relevant. Objection. He's the bitch. <laughs> when he called you, did he say, Carmine, there's an objection. Please, please, John. Hey, oh, oh. oh, I'm there's not, a, I'm not, a, I'll punch him in the face right now. <laughs> I'll suck him in his face Your right Honor. now. No question. That's witness tampering, Your Honor. That's witness tampering. Carmine, there's no You're respect for the court. There's no contempt charge. What? Carmine, calm down. You... Car... You're Carmine, me. calm <laughs> down. <laughs> You're <laughs> making it difficult for you. Calm down. While I'm trying to get... No, oh, no, uh, no. Your, your Honor, you, I would like to object against that. Your Honor, I'm try. too afraid to speak to anymore. I don't want to get beat. I'm too afraid to speak anymore. What? I don't want to get beat. Your Honor, see, here's the bitch. Look what you did. All right, Carmine, that's 20 months. 20 months, $20,000 fine. You've got to be... 20000 Your Honor, Your Honor, as a citizen of the law, I believe he needs more than that. He's, he doesn't learn his lesson. Well, if he does okay. it again, it's going right, to go up exponentially. On. All right, you know what? Shit. Fine. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Back <laughs> All right, to it. Now there's a standing <laughs> objection, Carmine. I am not a bitch. What else? What are you going to say? How do I? I'll right. sock anybody in the I face to prove it. I'm not take, a bitch. Uh, I will take the uh, counter into I'll sock uh, Rami in the face, okay? Carmine, Make him drool. Okay. Do it. Do it right here. Do it right here. Do it, Carmine. Stop being stupid. Do it, Rami, right now. You casino waiter bitch. I'm so scared. You a bitch and your brother's a bitch. Yeah, that's why you ain't here, Rami, All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Oh, fuck. Listen, I get it. We're heated. This is a serious exchange. Yeah. Try to calm down with calling people bitches and everything like that. Next person who does it is getting 20 months a $20,000 fine, all right? Tinker. Okay. Tinker. All right, Mr. Carlin, please continue your questions. Would you say... That Mr. K sounded distraught and stressed about the fact that he couldn't get his money on his own and he needed your aid for it. Yes, he did sound distraught and distressed. Can you try and imitate or mimic how he sounded to you? The whimpers and everything all, please? Just get, no, like, what I say? cannot. Your, what don't you demonstrate, Carmen? Your Honor, someone graffitied in, someone's graffitied on uh, on my podium. Rest in peace, Tinker. They're mocking my friend. <laughs> my God, true. Whoever wrote that. <laughs> Your Honor, I want something done about that right now. Did you cry and whimper like a bitch when you found them, out your brother was uh, dead? I will have the cops. Tinker's not dead. Take the evidence. Is there a paper we'll plane? Or what is it, Your Honor? Wait, say it again. Is there a paper plane or is it a note on the table? Right there, right yeah, on that's the a table. Note. Yeah, RV. See that? Um. This is you they doing to me? Tinker? You don't have to say it was such vile. I don't understand, Real Mr. Tinker Jerry. or fake Tinker? Real Tinker. Good oh, question. you're talking about that bitch-ass cop that turned criminal, right, Bass? Yeah. Alright, just, I... just document it. I believe so. I haven't seen yeah, him in months. Yeah, deserves. he's the scumbag criminal now, Bass. I wouldn't worry about him. Yeah. He's a better man than must run in the family. He must run in the family. Yeah, <laughs> Cri <laughs> criminal family over there. Well, back to it, <laughs> Miss Gatsby. When he he made this phone call, you, by the way, you didn't you didn't you didn't uh, you didn't do what I asked you to. Do. Could you make the noises he made when he made the phone call? How he sounded, please. I honestly cannot. Okay, I'll try to repeat it. Did he say? And I follow. I quote, Miss Gatsby, come on, you're not giving me my money. I need you to do something about it now! I need my 69 goddamn dollars now! I called him and he told me to fuck off! Is anything like that? No. Actually, he sounded much more cohesive and put together than you do. Okay. Okay. Well, after he made this phone call and you spoke to him, what happened next? What did you do to see to it his, his, his sensitive needs were seen to... I sent you a text message explaining what was happening and giving you a finite number and a finite deadline, as well as an explanation of what would happen should you not comply with it. 
Can you recount uh, the details to that message? Like how, how much time, window opportunity I was given? Yes, I was gave you until the 8 p.m. Eastern on June 27th. Am I going to be able to, to question pay Carmine? $6,900. <sighs> and um, after that, you followed up with a phone call with, to me, and you gave an exact time. You said, I said a minute. Do you recall that? No, I could not get a hold of you. There was a point where I, we were in contact, and you said 48 minutes. Is, is this yes, true? that was tonight. Okay. And uh, after that phone call, do you recall what I said in return? You asked if you would be able to settle this with Mr. K outside of the courtroom. Yep. And um, did you follow up on whether the, the case was settled or not before the warrant was pushed? Yes, I did. Who did you follow up? You followed up with Mr. K? Yes, I did. And what did, what did he say? He said that you had still not complied. Okay. And do you know what roughly what time this was? I believe it was roughly five to ten minutes after eight p.m. Eastern. All right. Uh, do you know what state? Did you try to contact me during that time? Once it left, and he called you. No, I did not. All right. Well, that's all, Your Honor. For me, you guys got you guys want to ask for anything? I wouldn't worth it. How I, I wouldn't risk it, guys. Don't embarrass yourself. Hey, Your Honor. Who who are you guys working? What? Um, what specific action that Carmine took are you charging him with contempt for? Yeah, is this you tell Carmine? The fact that he failed to oh obey God. a court order. Your Honor, I'm talking to Judge Gatsby, Your Honor. Not, okay. I'm asking a question for the witness. Not Sorry. <laughs> well, they're both Your Honor, so I was confusing. That's all. Hug a girl around. The exact would be the failure to comply with my ruling and directly conspire to perjure himself. Mm -hmm. And not once, Your Honor, but twice. How is this distinctly different than the failure to comply with the court order? To the violating a court order was strictly about paying Mr. K. And so, which specific action are you saying is separate from the violation of the court order? Conspiring to perjure himself and lying about his payment. Could he conspire with? Cons. Fired in the premeditation, not with. Okay. He's not being charged uh, with conspiracy or perjury. How long does a civil case generally have to pay back a uh, judge's ruling based on the judge's ruling? The time frame given by a judge. Is that there's no legislation anywhere stating a time frame at which the payment has to be made? To your knowledge? I believe it is if no direct timetable has been set, it is either 72 hours or one week. I cannot remember off the top of my head. However, an exact timetable was set. All right. Do you feel that the uh, actions of Carmine causing that you are believing contempt is for? is a direct function of you being a judge. I believe it is a direct function of Carmine flaunting the authority of a judge. Uh, one moment, Your Honor. Hey, Bass. No. Come here. How does this work? Do I cross-examine her after this? or? Um, no, said. because Ben's trials, you, you get a turn, they get a turn. Okay. But You're my favorite Carmine, son, you know that. Oh my god, you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. You traitor! And said he was going to. Those are saggy tits stick together, I guess. Fuck you later, baby. Hey, Carmine, be nice. So now he's Whenever Carmine goes up there, you can leave. Do you believe we're gonna cross the him, right? Oh, I can the leave. Was, uh, disobeyed, yes. so you can leave as much as you want because he's going to cross the enemy. Aside from his unwillingness to pay the fine. In his comments, oh, he's fucking. He goes yes. up there. Blast him out to the tail shit. 
fact that he was more than willing to lie and create an affront to my domain as a judge in this courtroom for his own benefit. No further questions, Your Honor. All right, redirect. That means I can ask stuff? Yep. Yeah. Stupid. Um, guys, how many times, including the actual um, verdict of the bench trial, how many times did you tell Carmine to uh, pay me my money? I believe, including the verdict, there were five reminders five reminders and he refused to pay the or let me reward that he did not pay me the 69 dollars, and you had to then up the amount and remind him to pay that second amount as well correct correct yes, Make him clean the toilet, so okay that's all your honor every single toilet in there okay. all right you're free to step down saying. Me sixty nine dollars and he's doing all right, prosecution. Let's witness. <laughs> hard times, huh? Must be uh, hard times. Let's have. What's up, Mr. K? Me? Me go up there? Mm hmm. Okay. Are you the goof? We. This means we. Can all right, talk. Mr. K. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, unity. Yes, Your Honor. All right, you've been sworn in. Hey, can you give us a um, brief statement as far as what you went through with Carmine from the first instant until now? You're ready for the um, one more As time. in the court case? Correct. Um, I was actually called in as a witness by Carmine um, for some case he had going on. And during that court case, I was extremely mistreated, defamed, made a mockery of all on his behalf. And... He tried to sue me. He, he lost. He was countersued. And I won and was to be awarded $69. You want me to keep going, the whole story? Yeah. So uh, he had 45 minutes to pay me the $69. Um, he left the courtroom, didn't pay me anything. He bragged about how much money he had, and $69 was nothing, and he shits that out. Um, so when the end of the 45 minutes was approaching, I decided to call him. Um, and on, in this phone call, he stated that, uh, he's not paying shit and he's going to lie and say he paid cash and they can't do nothing. And then he went on a rant about how he beats the fuck out of prisoners and no one can hold him accountable and he doesn't care. That's what the prisoners signed up for and they decided to do a crime. Um, so I made the judge aware of that and I, I sent her what he said. Uh, he, she then gave him multiple more warnings, um, and he had multiple chances to actually pay me this money. And he actually had a chance to pay me about one hour before the deadline, where you were there as well, uh, Bass. And we were in person, um, and he made it seem like he was going to pay me. He then disappeared and decided to kidnap a friend of mine, Mateo, who's in the crowd. He uh, put a knife to their throat and made them go on top of... Uh, the casino and forced him to give the radio to Carmine where Carmine hopped on the radio and was talking with us and Bass was on this radio as well. Carmine then attempted to... Your Honor, the, the crowd back there is... The, they're whining. It's, it's, it's throwing me off. I can't hear anything this guy's whining about. They're all crying back there. Your Honor, we're just supporting our friend who um, went through a hard yeah, time. Yeah, Your Honor, the, the one crying back there is the man that was kidnapped and had a knife put to his throat. He's, he's going through a lot of distress. Okay. All right. Oh, um, shit. This is why he felt as a cop, Your Honor. He can't understand more than one voice speaking on the radio. Mateo, do you right need now. about five minutes? Do you want to EMS to help you out? Are you going to be okay? They're right there, Mateo. Don't be afraid to take their... Uh, I'm they're okay. Right there. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Oh, my God. I, I appreciate your uh, you being so brave and being here. This is crazy. As I was saying, right. yeah. Uh, All right, please continue. Carmine has kidnapped this man in an attempt to get back at me in a way or an attempt to settle this matter between me and him, as he said to the judge. This was his way of settling it out of court. So he used Mateo to try to get me on a one-on-one -on -one convo on top of the casino where I don't know, God knows what he was going to do. Well, he messed up at one point and uh, he was trying to throw Mateo off the roof and jumped off the roof himself.
That's oh, when Bass God. arrived, took him into custody. I had a brief chat with Bass. Um, at that point, it was five, ten minutes after the deadline. That's when I called Gatsby, made her aware of the situation, and here we are. All right, thank you. Uh, prosecution, any questions? I don't, Your Honor. What did he, what? All right, what did he say? defense. Cross, do you have any questions? Do you Nothing for me, but my uh, associates may have some. Do you guys have any questions? No, I, I don't have any. No, Your Honor, I think he covered everything. Um. Your Honor, uh, the phone call I mentioned in my statement is the uh, tape you have as well. Yes, I have it. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. <laughs> All right, Mr. K, you're free to step down. Uh, prosecution, next witness. That'll be the EMS. All right. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, wayward. I do. All right. You've been sworn in. Go ahead and give your statement. Okay. Well, we were hanging out at the firehouse. We received a 311 for a 52 request at the casino um, concerning, I guess, someone that was that fell off the roof of the casino. Uh, he was transported across the way to posted to where the vinewood bowl was uh we arrived shortly thereafter and treated him on scene um he was responsive but was showing signs obviously of the fall a lot of bruising um nothing really like that stuck out um he was in a good bit of pain which we did get some pain medicine intravenously to him through iv um, got him on, strapped onto a backboard with a seat collar to prevent any further injury and transported him to the hospital. Um, I don't know exactly how far, far Are we he gonna come a fell up there too? from on, on the building. The problem is Mateo is, is not involved in this incident because, we um, on scene but that separate was, case. Uh, he fell you off sure? Because he was supposed to pay me, remember? He said he was going to pay me at the tequila law, then he disappeared uh, and he had Mateo, and Mateo treatment. can prove that. Instead of Wait, paying so me, we, he went and did that. We gotta, we gotta do the civil first, or we could do the criminal afterwards. Oh, okay. I'll follow not you. Right, the criminal charge yet. Any questions? Wait, you, you're on it. Did he say I cry like a bitch? No, no further <laughs> questions, Your Honor. That's all. all I right. was not crying like a bitch, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> it's not relevant. To, 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 are, you, are you stating that this uh, wonderful EMS here is a liar? Yeah, Weasley won at that. I did not cry. I don't All whimper. Right. All right, I'll, I'll take, take you into like consideration. A man. Mr. Carmine, do you or your counsel have any questions? Yes. Who cried like a bitch? Yeah, ask him Ask him the same question uh, you asked. No Gatsby. one cried like a bitch. I didn't even state right. that anyone cried oh. like a bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hearing voices. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck? My bad. Yeah, no more questions, Your Honor. Your Honor, I think he's projecting. Shut the fuck up. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, when's your honor? That was the last one. All right, you're free to step down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, defense, your turn. Uh, you got any witnesses? Fuck it, I'll testify. Small dick bitch. Yeah, the coffin. What'd you say? What'd you say? Literally didn't say that. Carmine. Carmine, keep your attention, please. Oh my God, stop it. You already threatened me, Your Honor. I don't feel safe. Carmine, calm down. Right. Uh, okay. Can we, get, uh, can we get one of the officers just to stand between uh, Carmine and Mr. K to make I'm sure... I'm afraid he's uh, going to punch me in my face like he calm. said. I don't know if I should right, even speak anymore. Mr. Costello, <laughs> do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, wayward. I do, Your Honor. All right, go ahead and give your statement. There was one fine evening where I got dragged to court over some dumb shit about me suing people. Faceless. And here I thought I could call Mr. K back there up as a prime witness to attest to my character. All he did on that stand was lie about me and, uh, and what I did and what type of person I was. And he aggravated me to the point where I called him names outside the name his mother gave him. Like, for example, 
I called him the Attack Titan from Attack. No, the 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 gorilla or monkey or ape Titan from Attack on Titan. You know the one with the Spoiler weird body alert! for sure. What what? What it's is not... wrong with you, bro? You just spoiled it for a ton of people in there. What? M Fucking scumbag! Bro, Sue you know? me! My Sue me! I don't give a shit! Oh, oh, I hate so what the fuck? I didn't even get to I've that part yet! There's another joke! Because the gorilla is a titan? Don't even bother uh, watching it now, Bass. It's been fucking eight years, okay? We haven't watched it now! It's on, it's on you! We got time for anime. Alright, alright, let's continue. Okay, well, and at one point I said that he could have used his stitch as a handkerchief around his neck because it was so saggy. <laughs> And and uh, I said he had a square proportion face, kind of like those Roblox characters. And for that, the judge felt it fit to award him $69 out of my pocket for slander. At the time, I didn't have the money on me, so I told the judge, I'm not paying it right now. I wired him. You know, I make a lot of money as a stockbroker. And I walk out. And then the judge, as I'm walking out, um, Judge Gatsby says... You gotta pay him $69 within 40 something minutes, or it's gonna be doubled. There's gonna be, no, sorry, zero added to that figure, a cop, couple zeros. I, I, uh, I forget to pay him because I'm a busy man making a lot of money. I ain't got time for small fry. So two days pass, and then I get a phone call from him, and I get a phone call from Judge Gatsby informing me that I had by the end of the day to pay him the money. And, uh, well, after getting off the phone with Gatsby, I give him a call, and he tells me he's partying over at the Tequila Law. He said he was partying with the commissioner, and they were doing things that uh, <laughs> I wouldn't feel comfortable saying on the stand. Yeah, it was... Uh, anyway, I, I get up there eventually, and when I get there, they're listening to a tape of me on it, me saying... Allegedly me on it saying things that I would never say and then uh, After that the the commissioner informs me that I need to pay him his money and by God I was gonna pay him his money Then I go with Mateo over to the diamond casino waiting for mr. K to show up so I can give him his money I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting and then a fucking bush goblin jumps out of nowhere and throws me off the building incapacitating me I had the money on me ready to give it to this son of a bitch, but I couldn't give it to him because a bush goblin tossed me off the fucking casino building. And that's what happened. That's not what happened. Shut up. That's, uh, that's all, Your Honor. All right. Do your, uh, does your counsel have any questions for you? Uh, Carmine. Yes. Do you consider yourself to no. be a bitch? No. No. Do you Moving consider on. what? Yeah, guys, you might, you might just want to resign as his legal team. It's gonna be a bad look on your records. It's gonna be the easiest win of their careers. <laughs> I don't know. Sound. Like what? You're 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 the lawyer. Hey, Carmine, you mentioned a bush goblin. Yes. What would you describe a bush goblin to be? It looked like the egg titan from Attack on Titan. And, okay. Come and what does Mr. To K someone look in this like room. to you? Oh, he looks like the egg titan from Attack on Titan, too. Do you believe... He threw me like that egg throws stones. He just tossed me that off that bitch. That is pure coincidence or intention? Uh, I heard him say Sasagayo as soon as he did it. Ooh. Uh, we have no more questions for this witness. <laughs> All right. Prosecution, cross examination. Oh, wait, Your Honor. Okay. I still have questions. My paralegal. Never mind. Okay, continue. Uh, Carmine, where is the money in question right now? It was on my possession. I think it might still be on my possession unless the officers took it from me. Uh, you want to check your pocket, see if it's still in your possession? Oh, yes. I got 8495 uh, 8, on me. You got what? Carmine owes K $69 in 
more than the, the, the amount needed from me. If the judge gave you the opportunity right now, would you pay that fine to uh, Mr. K? After dragging me through the court system again, have my former boss put cuffs around me? Mm. Those off here. Um, uh, I'd rather not answer that. Mm. Mm. Uh, I mean... Just prove the whole case right there. Try to help you, man. Yeah, uh, you literally just uh, proved it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Defense, uh, yeah, no further questions. Okay, yeah, see, guys, right, guys, you can just resign at this point. No further questions, oh, John. Case closed. You ain't got no questions? I got questions. All this and no questions? No questions from me by kicking go. You said you have how much money in your pockets right now, Karma? 8,400. And some change. Would you say you usually have a few thousands of dollars in your pockets at a time? To give to the point in Proverbs, yes. You stated that you were unable to pay the $69 at the moment of the ending of the trial. Is that correct? Yes, yes, I do recall. But you just stated that you carry thousands of dollars in your pockets on the daily. Is that correct? Yes, but at, uh, at that time, I was all out. I ran, I walked in, someone, what the hell's that noise? Somebody just got stabbed. Now, Jesus Carmine, Christ. you also stated that a bush goblin threw you off a roof? Yes, yes, it looked like a bush goblin. Is the definition of a goblin a small, grotesque, monstrous creature that appears in folklore? Yes, is mama crying? <laughs> what? Someone kill mama? And a titan is a large, grotesque creature. Yes. So yes, how right. would a large and small creature be of similar stature? It looked funny, okay? The proportions were weird. It had so long, dangly hands. Kind of like yours. How many times did uh, Miss Gatsby contact you to make this payment? Maybe four or five times. A couple, I'm not gonna lie. She called me a few times. And that was in a how long of a time period? Give me my son that uh, mama. Get a medical. Um, around maybe three hours, two hours. I was working at the time. You were reminded DLC. four or five times in three hours. Yeah, but I was clocked on duty, and there's a whole lot of things going on, unfortunately. And you said you forgot to pay. Um, I wouldn't say that. I didn't have the opportunity. I, I didn't have the opportunity to pay. Really? So yeah. were we not in person at Tequila La about a few hours ago? Yes. And that was still within the timeline of the deadline. Uh, yes. Why didn't you pay me at Tequila La? Because I... I knew you would be there, and I knew you are your people would be there too, and most of them are thieves. So I figured if I brought that kind of money around them, they'd probably, they couldn't help themselves. They'd probably try to steal it from me. So but thieves. you said you've had the money on you all day, and you still have it on you. I know, I put it away in you... that meeting. I put it away. Really? Yeah. Where did you go after Tequila? Oh, I ran into, I went to the Diamond Casino. I was up there with one of your friends. Did you meet him up there? No, he drove me there. Out of the kindness of his heart. Where did you meet him at? I think, uh, um, outside the Kilo, I think. He was lurking. Did you grab his throat? Hey, I have to legal aid outside for a second. Did I grab his throat? No. All right. Did you put a knife to his throat? No. Did you force him to give him his radio channel? Give you his radio channel? I asked him to give me his radio channel in a stern voice. Uh, can you demonstrate this uh, stern voice you're talking about? Give me that radio, you fucking bitch. Give me, the, give me that radio, you stupid bitch. And he gave it. Interesting. <laughs> and why did yeah, you take him quick. to the top of and the casino right. roof? Oh, we went up there. He went up there of his own volition.
I made him swear on Zolo that he'd go up there with me and not shoot me. Why was and, he on you know, edge with his hands up? He's crazy. I said, hey, maybe I said, hey, go take a Go take a look at the view, and he went up there and started deposing like a sick. So you told him to look at the view, and he just stood on the ledge with his hands up. Yeah, he was, he was, he was kind of, he was being a real lap dog, like a real yes man. He, I don't even. When you were arrested very agreeable. by Bass, was any type of weapon or sharp object found on you? I didn't. I don't carry sharp objects on me. Yes or no? Was any type of weapon found on you? I don't know. No, I wouldn't say that was. I don't. I didn't have nothing sharp on me. You stated a few minutes ago that even now that you have the adequate money to pay me, that you would yes, not. Bec yes, Why so? not because not because I want to pay you, but because it was court ordered. You don't deserve my money. I work too hard for my money. Dirty man, criminal man, scumbag like you didn't deserve a cent of my good uh, uh, legally earned money. So you good, think good money. You the don't, court shouldn't made, have it. You think the court made a, a wrong uh, judgment? Yes, it is in my opinion that Miss Gatsby made a lapse in judgment, ruling in favor of a scumbag like you. And you believe that your judgment is better? Personally, yes. And you believe that you have more authority over the judge? In matters pertaining to my finances, I'd like to think so. Oh, I... My fucking money. I work for that money. I don't steal from people like you do. I don't rob those... I don't go around robbing people for shit like you do. I don't go around shooting people. I'm a good man. Why did you lose your job if you're a good man? Because I'm a good man that's done a few bad things, okay? What bad things? I don't know. A lot. Like. I don't know, okay? Beating the fuck out of prisoners in jail, Carmen? Is that what you did? I have never done that. You've never beat a prisoner? No. Did you state to Bass? What? In Tequila La. That you have a technique. He's under arrest. Or you set prisoners up and then beat them up once they take the bed. If the SOPs and procedure warrants an ass whooping, then by God, an ass whooping they will receive. So you have given prisoners ass whoopings? Yeah, I, feel like uh, I wouldn't call it ass whooping. I have got physical with, with inmates who are unruly. Define, define uh, physical. I beat them upside the head with a baton. So you told me about 10 seconds ago that you've never beaten a prisoner. Now you're telling me you beat them I with a beat, baton. I haven't beat their ass. I don't beat asses. So I'll I'll beat skulls. Skulls. have you beat a prisoner's skull? On, on occasion, yes, especially <laughs> if they're unruly. And you believe you have I, authority over these prisoners? I feel like if, if you were in prison, you did something stupid, I'd beat you over the skull. Your Honor, no question. Your Honor. He's right, at, that's okay. enough. Well, I can't ask enough. no more. I can't ask no more. Did you make threats in my court? No, I was giving him an example. If he violated the law and he was violent, I'd, <laughs> I'd do what my job tells me to do. I just beat his ass. Is that what your job tells What's you to do? your current job, Mr. Carmine? Uh, Department of Correction stockbroker, former PD Toe. I resigned because I had to do training. Who needs to train for PD Toe? It's a ludicrous. <laughs> And legal aid too. I don't know if I still got that though. Man, many jobs. Private investigator too, apparently. All right, Mr. K. I'm sorry that he uh, he made those comments. Don't to you. apologize Process to him. You, you You're made a honor. Wanted to crack his skull open. No, I said I would, and if circumstances allowed, I'll beat I'll beat the brakes off of that man. Oh my God, Your Honor, make it stop. All right, that's I'm not threatening. It's not a threat. I'm not making a threat, All right, prosecution, do you have any more questions? That's all for me. And there it is. There's a whimpering. All right. Defense. Uh, nothing for redirect, Your Honor. Yeah, he pretty much fucked right. you, all right, well, that's all you have, Your Honor, I believe. Your Honor, can we all make right, closings? Uh, I have the evidence. I have uh, questions and answers, so I'm going to put us into a brief recess. Wait, Your Honor? He's asking if we could do closing. One of the can we do closings? Honor. I've got some stuff oh, yeah. I'd like to go, go over. Go for it.
Yeah, you want to do closing for us? Yeah, sure, sure. All right. All right. On the show. Mr. K, the floor is yours. As we have seen today, Carmine Costello is a man who thinks he has authority over everyone. He thinks his opinion and judgment is better than everyone around him. He's a narcissistic, egotistical piece of garbage. If he believes that someone else is wrong, even a high standing judge or a high standing officer, he will go against their orders. He will go against the legal ramifications applied to him. If it does not meet his standards, he thinks he's above the law. He thinks he's above everyone else around him. And he thinks he can do whatever he wants without punishment. He's a danger to society. He's a danger to people in this courtroom. He's shown aggression. He's shown violence, threats. And I think this man needs to be served justice and reminded that law is above everyone. And we must abide by the law because it's what keeps this goddamn country intact. That is all, Your Honor. Wow. That's right. Damn, that, was that was impressive. That was... Wow. That's what, talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about right there. Can, can the peanut gallery please keep it down? Why don't you keep your closing, right. Carmine? Prosecution, do you have any more closings or are you good with that? Pathetic. Come on, Bass, if you love me, you'll give a closing. Maybe. I need to get an important phone call, Your Honor. <gasps> oh, no way. What he meant to say was, Yo. nah, we're good. Continue. Oh my God. All right, defense. Sure. What I meant to say, Harvey, was. Who asked? Titty boy, appreciate the big 25, you beast. Your Honor, people of the court, today we are only trying to contest the contempt of court charge, not the violation of a court order. The fact of the matter is, Carmine did not pay the money he was ordered to pay. The actions surrounding his uh, unwillingness to I'll pay the recording this money completely irrelevant and all tied into the fact that he what did not pay the contempt of court charge requires both a distinct action from the uh unwillingness to pay or inability to, to pay as well as has other specific functions within the uh court of law in people v tessa lamb we see that Judge Crane says a contempt charge should be issued by the judges via the UPD when the actions of a judge, as taken as the representatives of a judiciary in an official capacity, are disobeyed, interfered with, and hindered, etc. Oh, he's cooking. The actions today are not distinctly different between the two events. That's my lawyer. Therefore, only the violation of a court order charge should stand. Thank you. Oh, it's sizzling. Oh, it's sizzling um, on also, the fine Your Honor, thing. should we uh, play the evidence for everyone to hear so everyone's aware of what uh, we're talking about? I have a, a link if you want to put it on the projector. I'll allow it. Uh, Mr. K, videos can't play on the projector. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah. I do have the, uh, I have the tape. I can play it uh, in my chambers and go sure. over it. I Yeah, actually, I have never owned a tape player in my life. It's it's 2023. I don't have a cassette player. Mr. K, does anyone have a uh, tape oh, player yes. here? Oh, yes. Yes, I have uh, actually a bunch of them. Okay, here, I'll give you the uh, tape. It might be easier if you play it. Why do you have a bunch? People want to know. Here, uh, I want to give you the tape back so you can play it. it. Oh, I have a bunch of tapes. I could just go grab them if someone can help here, me bring them can in. Can we listen to it? Here, just uh, the one you gave me, I just put it. Uh, sure. It's going to be easier if you play it for everybody than if I do it. All right, let me get this set up for you guys. I'll play it for the courtroom. Just give me one moment. Finally, we hear the truth. Just to, just to set the record straight, there is no proof that it's me on those tapes. I am. Um, Carmen, you, know you literally admitted guys? under oath that it was. What do you mean? When did I do that? I didn't do that. You know how technology is, guys, with artificial intelligence and everything? We're gonna, it's so scary. How they can make you say things you're not really saying. You're not making sense, Carmine. 
That's the, that's the AI, Mom. What are you doing on that side, by the way? Oh, what the fuck are you doing? She supported her favorite son, bitch. Mama, you it was kind of getting lonely. Your side barely had any people. You're dead to me, Mama. Okay, let me uh, play this for you guys. Hey, why are you guys leaving? Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, okay, love that song. Yeah, I'm refusing. And guess what? If, if Gatsby asks, I'm going to lie to her. I'm going to tell her I gave it to you in cash. <gasps> Oh! And you're gonna you're gonna lie to her in court saying you gave it she, to me in cash. Is she next to you right now? No, no, you're, you're lucky she's fucking out of it. You're lucky because you will be in court on your knees crying. Please don't make me pay. Please. It does not even sound like me. Around. You know, while you've been busy crying about that, I've been in Bolingbrook beating up inmates, beating right. the brakes off of them. You just beat I the got fucking three guys inmates. in. Yeah, because why yeah, not? Who's going to hold me accountable? Whoever that is, that. badass. You know, I can do that. They're inmates. They find the way they're right when they did dumb shit. And by God, I pray on the day I mean, that bro. I find you in here. And I'm working the shift. When that day comes, Mr. K, you'll have hell to pay! Man, I wonder who's... Uh... Why'd you laugh at the end? What was there that laugh at the end? What was that laugh at the end? It was a sigh and disappointment. That was a laughter, you your mind. He's not even... He, he knows it's fake. He, 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 it's humoring him how fake it is. Really? Because everything that you said on the tape, you have actually acknowledged and, uh, you know, agreed that you have committed. You said you did not pay me, which you said on the tape. And you said you beat prisoner skulls in, which you said on the tape. No, I didn't. I said uh, on the tapes, whoever that was said he beat some brakes off of prisoners. Obviously, people don't have breaks. So Regardless, that is uh, both uh, you and whoever is on the tape, which is you, are beating up prisoners and refusing to pay. So, a perfect well, the match. the other person, the other person that sounds like you sound like a bitch. So, I'm just putting that out Who's there. Me? All right, enough. Good one. <laughs> All right, I've got the evidence. I'm going to go back to my chambers and deliberate. So, we're in a brief recess. Yeah. Brief. All right, Judge Gatsby, recess. you're in charge. Should be easy one, Your Honor. This should be an easy Dance one. party, boys. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Yeah. My balls. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Go, go, go dance with your favorite son. Go ahead. Stupid. Shut the fuck up. My balls. My balls. Sorry, guys. This is my favorite song. You're sick, mama! You see this, what Carmine? The fuck is you? What are you doing? Hey, Carmine. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Spin it back for him. Drop it off. Hey, Carmine. Hey, like that, mama? I did that shit jiggling. God, man. I thought Tinker was the worst, brother, but you sure are. You sure do take the cake. Fuck all of you! This is so fucking stupid. That shit was a Damn, that was a nice song. Damn, Mama, nice tits. Thank you. Oh, your life is ruined. Yeah, this is so funny. That envious of his car because you no, can't get that kind of money. You pissed off. That lawyer's gonna crazy. rule in favor of me. You're fucking bitch. over. That lawyer's gonna rule in favor of me. What you did to Mateo was not wise. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You'll pay. Oh, we won't you will. Forget. You will get the medicine that you deserve. You're coming to our courtroom Ms. after this, Ma bitch. Mateo's an idiot. And in okay. our courtroom, we have fucking pages. I Listen, have we know knife. that, but hey. get off of me. Get off of me, Mama. You, you, you better get put on the me. yellow pages. You're looking for a new fucking job. You, you can get fired from the prison after this. No, I am not. We gonna throw you a nice party, Carby. We gonna throw you a nice party. You didn't see? They already announced your resignation on Twitter. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Why you in there? Mom, move out of my way. I gotta check my phone. Look at him Why scared. Are you scared, scared little bitch. I'm not scared. Yeah, right. If I leave right now, I get some ten. <laughs> no, you know what's the best part about Let going to prison like as a DOC guard? It's your boys who are gonna look after you. What, okay? They're gonna give me. They're gonna give me the biggest cell. They're gonna give me the best food. Everything. Oh yeah, yeah, we're really good. Yeah, we'll get. We'll get you some good hospitality. We'll take care of you. We'll take care of you. No, my people take care of me because I work DOC. That's my game. You're fine. You're fine. I'm not. I'm not. 
Yeah, you know, we're, we're, they don't claim. Well, I was saying the same shit about the cops like a month ago. I was ago. a clown. You know. Buy Kyle Miles, they were the prime. Darth Napo, they were the uh, four months. Me gusta pancake, they were the five months. Hey, titty boy again, they were the big this. 25 gifted sub. Me boys, we're gonna go to Tinker's grave. Man, always coming through with them titties. I appreciate you, Rad. He's Brad not Brad dead, dumbass. He's alive. Why are you not calling objections? Might as well be allegations. Because uh, Fritz is Carmine he's was digging work, himself a hole. See with me, you'll see. I'm not on trial. He the is, so it doesn't matter if bad, he's saying baby. a bunch of shit. Big boy, they were the 18 months. Talks with him the prime. Uh, Paybacker, they were the prime. Iron Balls, balls. Jay Sanders, they were the subs, guys. Alpha Tango, Turek. What was that song the called, by the way? Uh, Wishlist, they were the prime. Holes, something you will never have. Oh my god. I only remember the questions you asked. You're a bitch. He's one of the 55 hoes, that's why. You know, Carmine, when you get sent to prison, maybe I can come up there and visit you. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I'm listening to a song right now, okay? What, 55 hoes? No, why would I listen to a song you like? Because, because you've been like... asking everyone what the song was. <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, oh, back to the right side. Where is everybody? Yeah. <laughs> who's, who, it, who's in court? It, it's handled. Come on. They're all no. gone. You got two? Uh, Yo, is this too good? He's dancing to no music. <laughs> Oh, fuck Carmine. Cause that's all I need for good vibes. Yeah, fuck Carmine, yeah. Carmine, as God is my witness, I hope someone John Doe's you. Mm. Oh my God. Oh shit, Carmine. John Doe was useful. I meant murder. John murder. Doe was a hero. John You're Doe not. died like a bitch, and I hope you die like one too. <laughs> John Doe <laughs> was the bane no. of every criminal. He was the uh, best cop no. we ever had in the force. Carmine's a fucking bitch. His name, you son Tell of a bitch! Jimbo. God damn you! Let him know, Jimbo. Let him know. I got 55 hoes on my. You already know, know this shit. Let's go. Up your ass. What? Who is it? What the fuck? Damn. Yeah, the bleachers. He's upstairs. Yeah. Let's go. Take it, take it, Carmine. Being in charge of the cart room, I concede my leadership to Grayson and Serge. Oh, beautiful. Not a bad. Not too bad. Rest in piss, Tinker. Is he dead? Oh, Tinker is a. Tinker's dead. He's a criminal. Yeah, he died. No, he's not. No, he is not. He got killed on a bad. I like Carmine because he got fired from the PD. I don't want to tell you, Carmine, but he got killed in a bad drug sale. Someone shot him in the head. You're supposed to be my boy. You talking about? You're talking about? Yeah. Every time I would ask you to ride together, you told me to eat shit. That's because you people get so, but things have changed now. Okay? Oh, so he's getting friends. arrested right oh, now. Oh, you're he's talking about now that you're DOC, Carmine? He's literally going to yeah. jail. Not he's, for long. he's no, no longer I'm DOC. Not. Shut the fuck up. You're he's literally about to get arrested. You know what? what do you my allegiance, my allegiance stands with Mr. K Calm instead of Carmine Costello. Calm down before I got a discipline. Yeah, you know what happens to people that have got nothing yep. going with Mr. That. K? What happens? I'm just coming. I'm gonna pull out a camera. I'm gonna start taking pictures of you everywhere you go. You will not be able to breathe yeah. without me documenting Mr. K, every movement. Carmine, is that harassment? Mr. K, if he's harassing, he's harassing you, let me know and I'll arrest him. Got you, boss. Matter of fact, I might even get a restraining order. I'm sick and tired. We of this used guy. to be on the we used to be on the same team, Jimbo. And you're doing this to yeah, me. Not, you got fired though because you're not an adequate yeah. cop. But. Yeah, exactly. I thought we had more than that. Jeez. You I thought we had more than that, Jimbo. You literally would tell me to fuck off daily. No, but that was love. That you sounds know? right. That sounds that about was right. love. He's a pretty shitty person. Boys. Come through. <laughs> hey, officer, can I borrow your gun real quick? Yeah, I got you. I'm going to shoot it out, Carmine. Mm, I feel that. Just get my warrants cleared up over here, Kay. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Carmine's fucked, huh? Be yeah, well, uh, a longer time to discuss this. Uh, what did he get fired for? Oh, there you are. Okay. Going to jail. Uh, uh a lot, lot of little usual things. Usual shit. But, <laughs> yeah. He never got better, man. I think they all want to see Carmine get locked up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, call this court back to order. Can you guys move out the way so I can make a dash run? Me too. 
can't have the AP because you got a big house. Come on, guys. fucking trip you, bitch. Come on. Guys. Right, could I have one of the officers uh, waiting in the back, please? Oh, I definitely, I got that. I got you. All right, All right Mr. Costello. Your Honor. Yes. Before uh, you do this, my client has informed me that uh, he is planning on fleeing if the ruling is against his what favor. <laughs> that I, is uh, not I'm true. I'm about to report <laughs> this as I'm a attorney by his counsel. I don't want this motherfucker. I want the cuffs. Okay, Carvin, I want the if you want, we can restrain his movement. I'm, I'm suing this guy. Table. I'm, I'm suing him. Please. I'm suing you. Right. Get, the fuck away from me. get away from me. Guilty, Carmine. Yes, you just done the right thing, man. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay, thank you. Right. Why would I run? I wouldn't give far. Why would I run? It makes no sense. You piece of right. shit. You got a great lawyer team, Carmine. Mr. Costner, let's not forget his contempt of court as well. Don't worry, Your Honor. He's not going nowhere past these doors. All right. On the charge of contempt of court. I'm going to be finding you guilty. The fact yes. of the matter is, yes. a court order issued to you by a judge is definite. There is no questioning it. There is no going against it. The fact that Judge Gatsby gave you a direct order in her ruling is period, point blank, a ruling cannot be questioned at any time. Your failure to pay that and then your admission of guilt today in court that you were going to lie shows that you had premeditation to violate this order. <laughs> there's there's no proof that was me. Your Honor, the Your Honor, there's there's it's also the contempt of court shit. you gave him today as well, Your Honor. Let's yes. not forget about that one as well. Ooh, I'm getting you, to that. You know what? In that On case, top of that, Mr. Costello, for your outbursts and actions today, you have been fined twenty thousand dollars in sentence of time mm. in guys, prison for your contempt of court. <laughs> Jimbo, get him, Jimbo, get him, Jimbo. Mr. K. The six thousand nine hundred dollars before you leave here today. Mm. Mm -hmm. You said you have eight grand on you, right? Uh, you know what? No problem. Page closed. Well, the Come on, Mike, over. He's still a bitch. He'll always be a another bitch. Another contempt, Your Honor. And he has no respect for the courtroom. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, who's the, who's who's the bitch? Hold on. Who's the bitch? Your Honor, he clearly has no respect. No respect for the court. Your Honor, who's the bitch? Mr. K. Oh, Mr. K's a bitch. Yes. Oh, Why you got that knife belt? Stop digging yourself a hey, hole. Your Honor, you're a bitch too. Carmine. Fuck, Carmine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is that? Oh my God. Carmine. Who is that? Why would you say Carmine, that? Your Honor, just call me a bitch. Yeah, fuck you, you Oh my God. So he's looking at a total Carmine. of 69 months. 138 months per all and a $69,000 fine per Judge Gatsby. Good, good, good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, justice. Hey, justice. Hey, justice. Hey, justice. Justice months, is served here. 194 months per all, $71,625. Love to see it. And again, he's <sighs> going to also owe Mr. K $6,900. Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 71625 I'm in the penitentiary. I, I got all that bad. Yeah, you better find out what a bitch is uh, once you get to prison, Carmine. Right. There, you, there you go. Let me just get you cuffed up here, Carmine. Can I at least give him his money? <laughs> yeah, you can give him his money. All right. Okay, come here. Well, I'm about to, I'm about to finally get my money. one, I will use my baton, Carmine, okay? I'll tase you in the face, too. I got you. What do you think I'm going to He's going to be hit with both. He's there you go. Be, be a good bitch and pay me my money. Days ago, and then the contempt of court oh, your for money, today. right? There you go. Be a good right, bitch and pay me my money. money. Throw it, Carmine. Yep. You want your money, right? <laughs> yeah, I want my money. All right, give me a second. How much is it? Six, how much was it you again, Your Honor? 6900 So you're going to pay Mr. K $6,900. Because that was what was agreed to. He's running. <clears throat> I can see it. <clears throat> I'm waiting. Giuseppe now. Mr. Costello, if you run out of here, you are going to be getting 100 months and $100,000 fine. So I would recommend you uh, run. You your, uh, Cough up my money. <laughs> what the money, oh, huh? Think about the consequences yeah, the of the actions. Okay. Never mind. You have a job right now. If you don't want to lose it. I said go up and talk some sense into him. Wait, Give him the man the money. Do it. Do it. Unfortunately. What the fuck? Oh. Yo, my bad. My bad. Whoa. My bad. My bad. You wave your finger one more time. I'll break it. <laughs> talk some sense into him before he does something stupid. Pay the man his money. You've been court ordered. My, my, twice my apologies. Now. I was trying to. I was trying to bill him. I forgot. I'm not a cop. My bad. Force a habit. Oh, so you're trying to use your powers, Carmine. Mm. 
Yo, it's just, you know, I'm hardwired to take money from these losers, not give it to them. Hey, He's your crook, that's why. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so All much right, for that money. your back. Hands behind your back. What did we cost, boys? We'll stick him out that way, right? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, look we'll at him. Take him out like a wild animal, yes. Look at you. resisting. He's not resisting. All right, let's go. Look at that criminal. Later, criminal. Enjoy prison. <laughs> I like the way you whimpered, Mateo. Mom, jump. Jump, Molten. <laughs> Mom, need a jump. Woo. Thank you so much, yeah, that was That was just pure heaven watching him get monster. Yeah, justice was served today. Good job, Mr. K. All right, get on the radio. Get on the radio.